Hey, Lucas McNally of Maine Basketball Rankings here with a preview of the regions that are kicking off today. I'm getting ready to head down to Portland to cover B South from the Expo, where uh, we'll have live stats. So if you're stuck at work or you just want to see what the score is from down there, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, Oceanside Girls are your favorite in that region. They are 18 and 0, but they've got two problems on the other side of the bracket of Madomic Valley and Spruce Mountain. Spruce Mountain, of course, beat them last year. Um, and Madomic Valley had them put them very close in both matches matchups earlier this year. Um, in Bangor, B North is one of the most competitive regions in the state. Some might say it is the most competitive region in the state. Ellsworth is the favorite, but there's five teams that could easily win that region, and Herman could definitely play spoiler and knock someone out in the quarterfinals. Um, there's a really interesting dynamic there. Uh, Ellsworth, like I said, they're the favorite. They've got Chance Mercier. He might be Mr. Basketball. But Miranda Cook is there. Miranda Cook, if you're a fan of geography, is not very close to any of the other B North schools. So they've only played one team in the region. They played a Class A school. They played. They nearly beat Mount Blue. They played a bunch of C schools. And because of a lot of things that are not under their control, they haven't played anybody. So they're the great unknown in this region. They're also the two seed, and they're very good. So they could easily run the table and win this region. There's been quite a lot of face drama about it and quite a lot of controversy. They've also got one of the best coaches in the state, um, and they tend to overplay their seed. At least they did when they were in B South. So that is the really the team to watch there is Miranda Cook. But again, five teams could win that region. Caribou, Ellsworth, Old Town, Orono, Miranda Cook easily could come out of there. Uh, on the girls' side, it's a little clearer. Ellsworth is... 18-0, uh, and 0, they are a sizable favorite in that region. B North Girls is not as deep. It drops off after, um, I think, Caribou, and there's a big drop in talent there. But Old Town is probably the biggest threat to Ellsworth. Uh, they tip off tonight. They'll play MCI, who was the 10 seed. They're there because of a thrilling overtime win at Erskine. Um, and Miranda Cook and MDI will face twice today, boys and girls, back-to-back, -back, which is very nice scheduling, really, if you're a Miranda Cooker MDI person. Um, over in A North Girls, that's going to be in Port, that's going to be in Augusta. Uh, Lawrence is the defending champs, of course. They have one loss on the year to Hamden. That's probably their biggest threat. They lost by two points to Hamden earlier in the year. Hamden is back down in A North after being in double A for a little while. Um, but I wouldn't sleep on Coney or Camden to make a run there. Both of them have some quality wins on their schedule. A North is notoriously a haven for upsets in the tournament, especially on the boys' side, which we'll talk about tomorrow. But the girls' side has had its shares. You don't have to look much farther than last year when Lawrence knocked off um, the Gardner team with Lizzie Gruber that everyone thought would cakewalk to the gold ball game. So that's it. They're going to have tons of coverage at, BD, at Bangor Daily News from Portland, from Augusta, from Bangor. Um, if all the games are streaming on NFHS, so if you can't get to a game, that's where those are. They switched to WHOU for the semifinals. And like I said, I'll have live stats of games from Portland. So if you need to check in and see how things are going, you can do that. And it's going to be a great tournament. Best time of the year.